Abhishek Nigam has replaced Shizan Khan in the television series, Ali Baba. Dastan A. Kabul, which also starred late actress Tunisha Sharma. Nigam said he had apprehensions about taking up the role but he sought everyone's advice and realized that he didn't have any reason to decline the offer. Irrespective of the nature of the replacement, comparisons are normal, inevitable, he added. Actress Nina Gupta shared a video on Instagram of her different projects across the years. Her daughter Masba Gupta reacted to the video. It's called a career graph without unnecessary self-created hype, PR and pure talent, with love. For the craft, she wrote, while sharing the video on her Instagram stories. Meanwhile, actress Archana Puran Singh commented, Wow! What body of work Nina! Actress Juhi Chawla recently landed in Jaisalmer to attend Siddharth Malhotra and Kiara Adwani's wedding. At the airport, Chawla spoke to paparazzi about the soon-to-be-married couple. The actress said in Hindi, They have our blessings. Siddharth and Kiara make for a very good-looking couple. Juhi is the childhood friend of Kiara's. Father, China has apologized to Costa Rica for a balloon that flew over its territory, insisting the balloon was focused on scientific research. The Central American country's foreign ministry said. Chinese officials said that the balloon's flight path deviated from its original plan and it had a limited ability to correct the error. The statement by the foreign ministry read. The U.S. has said it has no intention of returning the debris of the suspected surveillance balloon, which was shot down in the Atlantic Ocean on Saturday. To China, the U.S. military have recovered some remnants of Chinese spy balloon. U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said the retrieved debris would be analyzed by intelligence experts. U.S. officials stated, As many as 137 students of a private nursing and paramedical college in Shaktinagar area of Mangaluru were hospitalized as they complained of stomachache, loose motions and vomiting allegedly after having hostile food. Police Commissioner N. Shashi Kumar said, the district health inspector said they've been admitted due to food poisoning and added there's no need to panic. At the epicenter of the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria was about 26 kilometers east of Nurdagi at a depth of 18 kilometers on East Anatolian Fault, which is a strike slip fault. In strike slip faults, Solid rock plates push up against each other across a vertical fault line, building stress until one slips in a horizontal motion, releasing tremendous amount of strain. Google has announced that it will launch an artificial intelligence chatbot called Bard in the coming weeks. The new AI-powered chatbot is based on Google's Lambda language model for dialogue applications, technology and draws on information from the web to provide fresh, high-quality responses. CEO Sundar Pichai said, the chatbot will directly compete with Microsoft-backed OpenEyes chat GPT. Ex-India opener Wasim Jaffa took to Twitter to name his India Playing 11 for the first test against Australia, which will begin on February 9. Jaffa named Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul as openers. He named KS Bharat as the wicketkeeper and Shubman Gill as the number 5 batter. He included Mohammad Shami and Mohammad Siraj as his two pacers. Ex-India pacer Venkatesh Prasad trolled ex-Pakistan captain Javed Miyadad over his India can go to hell if they don't want to come to Pakistan to play cricket, remark. But they, India, are refusing to go to hell.
Prasad tweeted, Mia Dad made the remark in reference to BCCI refusing to travel to Pakistan for Asia Cup and seeking a neutral venue. Australia's longest-serving T20I captain Aaron Finch has announced his retirement from international cricket aged 36. Finch represented Australia in five tests, 146 ODIS and 103 T20As, aggregating 8,804 runs in international cricket. I've been bloody fortunate to play for 12 years. And I think the team's in a really good spot now for me to move on, he said. A 23-year-old model, Brooklyn Cowrie, who lost her top lip in a dog attack in the US has shared pictures of her transformation after having six cosmetic surgeries. Cowrie had been out with her cousin and her pit bull when the dog attacked her in November 2020. The doctor took skin and nerves from her arm for the surgery. India has sent relief material to Turkey after multiple earthquakes hit the country. The first batch of earthquake relief material leaves for Turkey, along with NDRF search and rescue teams, specially trained dog squads, medical supplies, drilling machines and other necessary equipment, the government said. Death toll from the earthquakes that hit Turkey and Syria has crossed 4,000.